Hey YouTube, it's Looney here again and I wanted to do a video today on what I keep inside of the Altoid Smalls 10. So let's jump into it. So right away on the outside, this is just a uh, piece of balloon. Uh, it's just a red balloon to sort of seal the outside. Uh, but on the inside, just pop it open here. And right away you see a ton of things for starting fire. So I decided to make a micro fire kit out of this because I felt like I could get a lot of items in here to either spark a fire, to have tinder for a fire, just to help me get things going. Real quick on the outside, I just have a facial tissue on the, on the lid here, uh, just some tinder. Uh, I have a striker plate that's glued to the inside here. I have two uh, groups of matches. There's four matches total and they're just they just have some uh, a small straw around the outside to kind of keep them organized, keep them from uh, falling around in the kit. Uh, next on the list, I'm going to grab both of these at once. These are both birthday candles. Uh, this is one of the novelty candles that uh, you see that that will continue to light. You blow it out, it continues to light. So really good to continue to burn in a fire and keep some tinder going. And this is just uh, another birthday candle. This is the kind that uh, lets off some sparks, kind of like a sparkler. So just another way to, to keep some fire going. These are two waterproof matches. Uh, they're actually wrapped with toilet paper uh, and then dipped into candle wax. So I have two of those. I actually learned this uh, from a video that I watched from Intense Angler. I'll leave a link to that video down below. He has uh, a ton of good content on his uh, channel. Uh, learned a lot of things from him, not just this, but a ton of other things. But uh, these are great items. Uh, you can sort of uh, fluff the outside edge of this up a little bit, strike it on the striker plate, and this will literally burn just like a candle burns very long and then, time. Next on the list, I'm going to just sort of pull this out here. This is another facial tissue. It actually has some uh, petroleum jelly uh, on the inner side of it, and then just another one of those novelty birthday candles wrapped on the inside. And then next on the list uh, in the tin here is another facial tissue, more, more tender, obviously. And then wrapped on the inside of it, there's no petroleum jelly, but this is a, uh, just a small ferrocerium rod uh, to, spark, uh, to get some sparks going. So uh, great, tiny, uh, little ferrocerium rod that fits perfectly in this Altoids Smalls tin. I'll pull this container out. Uh, this is from UST. Uh, Universal Survival Technologies, I believe it is. Uh, and I left it in their little container because I wanted to keep all of this stuff uh, together. This is their spark wheel. And on the inside here, I have some more uh, tinder. This is just cotton balls. Most of this is, is uh, got a little bit of petroleum jelly in it. And then on the inside of it is the spark wheel. And you can see, hopefully you can see, uh, on the very bottom, it has a, a directional arrow to tell you which way to twist it. Uh, so you can just hold it and twist to get a good, good spark going. And then on, in the bottom, it also comes with three, uh, three other flints uh, to, in case one, one runs out. I had one, actually, that was two, so there's the third one. So it comes with three other flints in case this one, when this one runs down, you just undo the back there and you can slide another flint in. So there's that. Uh, these two items here are just some straws and in, packed in the straws are some petroleum jelly and cotton balls. Again, great fire starters. Uh, you can just cut the ends of these off, peel some out, sort of flare it out, uh, get a spark to it and just toss this on some tinder and it will work really well. And lastly in the kit, you can see here, believe it or not, is a knife. This is the Spyderco Bug. Uh, it actually fits perfectly. Very tiny knife, not a toy. Um, as you can see, 
It's a very sharp knife. Pull some paper out here. Uh, this is a very, very sharp knife. This is straight from the factory. Uh, you can see how, how uh, well it cuts. I haven't done any sharpening at all on the blade. Uh, found out about this little knife from the Urban Prepper. Saw a video that he did on an uh, Altoid Smalls 10. I'll leave a link down below to, the, uh, to that video and to his channel. Uh, but uh, picked one up for myself and, and I'm glad I did. Works perfectly in this little kit. And the best thing uh, and the reason that it's in this kit is for the ferrocerium rod. Because I can actually close it and use it as a spark. I can use it as a, uh, to spark my ferrocerium rod. Guys, there it is. That's my take on the Altoid Smalls 10. I felt like uh, building a micro fire kit would be the best way for me to utilize the small space instead of a sort of a survival kit. I felt like that this would be a perfect complement to some of my other items, uh, sort of a, a modular way to toss something in a bag and know that I had plenty of ways to start a fire. Uh, please like and subscribe if you liked the video. Going to be some other videos coming out here shortly. Uh, maybe possibly a video uh, extending the EDC series. Uh, and thanks for watching.